We have an update on a WWE star's sudden departure. Plus, an AEW star made a shock return on Dynamite last night, and a major gimmick match was added to AEW All In in the process. It's all in the wrestling news right now. What's the latest on the sassy Southern Belle, Lacey Etherbans? Let's find out from our naughty Northern Belle, Andrew Hodkinson. Well, yesterday we reported that Lacey Evans was done with WWE, announcing that she is now known as Maester Estrella uh, and seemingly about to start taking bookings outside of WWE. However, this was in doubt as Evans was still listed as an active SmackDown star. Now, WWE has confirmed Evans' departure with her being removed from the WWE.com roster page and is now being listed under the alumni section. Now, some are questioning like how this came about, why this came about. Was there a big fallout in WWE? Reports are coming out this morning that simply say that Lacey Evans' contract expired with mm. WWE and uh, neither party was in a, in a mad rush to renew. So off their separate ways they go. It was something that was very much kept on the QT. Uh, and and it's, it's one of those where she, we think Jack and I went through this yesterday. This she went through a litany of things. Yeah, there was a lot of revisions of her character, and um, none of them really seemed to gel super well with the audience. No, nope. so maybe Macy Estrella might be different. We'll find out in the years and the months to come. Yes. Over to AEW we go. And isn't it nice to be talking about AEW <gasps> and not mentioning, don't say, actually, don't say his name. Don't say his name. Don't say his name three times. You'll pick a fight with the locker room. <laughs> um, we're talking all in and a major gimmick match added to it. Off the back of a big return on Dynamite last night, we had uh, Orange Cassidy and Wheelie Utah uh, for the international title. Cassidy wins, BCC jump in, start putting the boots to Cassidy. Best friends come to make the save. Uh, we have uh, Lucha Brothers getting in the mix as well. And to even everything out, the shock return of Eddie Kingston from Japan. Yay! Lovely to see him back after his time doing the G1. He rocked the ring, sent everybody packing, and then made the announcement that Stadium Stampede is coming to Wembley. Ooh -wee. I'm excited for that. I think oh. that's going to be a very fun time. Now, the BCC still has, I think, three people. Uh -huh. Um, to be added uh, onto their team for that match. So that's going to be interesting to see who's going to join them. Yeah. Uh, Let us know in comments down, down there on who you reckon should be siding up to the BCC. Yeah, I can't wait for this. I think it's going to be really fun. I think they're going to put on a really fun time with this one. There is so many opportunities here for funny little nods to England <laughs> and cameos. <gasps> Are you going to be there as the taxi oh. driver? <laughs> Can you be there oh, as a taxi mate. driver, man? Is this the WWF show? That could be you. You could, like, put them all in your cab and you can, like, drive them oh. to the place. Are you off to the wrestling, are you? Yeah. It's giant A-stacks competing. Oh, that would have been perfect. That'll hit, that hit a million Ooh, views today, it. that one. Did it? It will. I think by the end of today, it'll hit a million. Oh, that's exciting. Thanks for sharing it, Good lad. all of you. Appreciate. Um, it's on TikTok and Twitter. Go find it. But no, there's room for cameo. I want to see a footballer in the mix. Oh, yeah. I want to see, like, Jack Grealish just pass a football. Jack, Jack, to... <laughs> Jack, Jack, don't. Don't do that one. <laughs> don't summon him, no. whatever you do. Oh, God. Oh, Jeez. No. Green, green grass. No, um, <laughs> I want to see him pass a football to the Lucha Bros. And, oh, And wow. then header it into... A... I bet they've got fantastic football skills. Yeah. Ray Fenix will have some insane football skills. Oh, that's a thing. That would be a lovely thing. Lots of opportunity there for fun and all games. Yes. Uh, we had a few other bits confirmed for All In last night as well, didn't we, Andrew? We sure did. We had Dr. Britt Baker. She became the final entrant in the Women's Championship 4 way. She's going to face Tony Storm, Soraya, and Hirokaru Shida at Wembley next Sunday. Do we uh, think that Soraya's getting like the, the big hometown pop there? Has to, right? I reckon so. Yeah, I reckon so. Does she win the belt that night as well? Mm. That remains to be seen. Mm. We have Chris Jericho, who ended up in a fight with Don Callis and Takeshita last night before Will Ospreay made a shock appearance and beat Jericho down with a steel chair. Uh, later in the night, it was confirmed that Will Ospreay will face Chris Jericho as sort of the rumours were sort of swirling around, weren't they, about this one, about this match uh, happening at All In. And uh, yeah, it's going to be the first time ever. It's going to be a good one. I'm very intrigued by that. 
Bye -bye I think hat. it's going to be a like I know a lot of people like oh no not Chris Jericho and Will Ospreay I think it's going to lurky be a banger as it's, the children it's say it's only because playing Devil's Avocado Chris Jericho has had some really strong matches in AEW but he's also had some some misses <laughs> no that's fair to say his match with Adam Cole was like oh oh dear yeah fair to say that's a shame so I think it's you know, if you would have put Will Ospreay in with the likes of maybe a Kenny Omega, you know that you'd have rolled a six. Mm -hmm. uh, the the dice roll is a little bit more uncertain with Chris Jericho. I I really want this match to be brilliant, and and I'm pretty sure that Chris, I'm pretty confident that Chris Jericho will Ospreay do as well. Mm. I'm sure, they'll rise to the occasion. I want to give a little nod in that segment where this whole match was put together. Yeah, uh, Don Callis reveals a photo, <laughs> that, that a picture. Port now it's amazing, isn't it? It's, it's so good. A, that is a portrait by Mel. Coleman, who has been doing art and stuff for Don Callis for the last few weeks. Oh, wow. She is, she's amazing. She's been doing art based on AEW and wrestling in general for a good few years now. And I love that Mel's receiving her flowers. Behind the wires, Mel Coleman's going to have it. We're going to have a chat with Mel Coleman on the podcast feed, right? Ooh. Really excited. Um, I wrote in my diary that we were chatting today. And then I re and she messaged me yesterday going, are we, are we ready to go? And I was like, oh, oh, no. oh I got the date wrong. Uh -oh. <laughs> Ruh -ruh so, so uber professionalism over here. Apologies to Mel Coleman, but Mel's going to be on the podcast feed next week talking about it. Nice. So. And, and she's great. She's brilliant. Yeah, she's very good. It looks like a pho photography graph. It's that, it's that detailed. It's that well done. Mind-blowingly good. It really is. Well, what else? What else we got for, for All In? We got a huge trios match. Uh, it was signed, and we will see Kenny Omega, Kota Ibushi, and Hangman Page teaming up to face Kanosuke Takeshita, Jay White, and Juice Robinson. Uh, this came from Kenny, who was jumped by Don Callis in the sit-down interview that he had with Jim Ross last night. Takeshita and Bullet Club Gold came in and started putting the beat down on uh, Kenny Omega and then Hangman was shown outside the hospital saying that he and Ibushi would have Omega's back at All In. He was drinking at the hospital. A man said, you can't do that. And he downed his beer and was like, take the can. Um, I'm ready to fight. And he said, I'm only here because CM Punk won't let me in the building. Because <laughs> <laughs> this is the promo that they, that, that Paige... I thought it might have been, yeah. ...told to go and do. Mm. So so this kind of ties in some stories from the past week of, yeah. of who was what. I know, and I think that actually now seeing it, that made more sense having him it at the hospital than sense. being behind the scenes. Also, so because say. Hangman was like, I would put CM Punk in that ambulance behind me there. <laughs> I'm going to send him packing. Going to wallop him in there. So that that's going to be incredible. Those six, they're going to have some fun. Oh, Jay, yeah, that's going to be amazing. Jay White and Juice Robinson had a beauty with FTR. Mm -hmm. Takeshita is a, is, a, is a great wrestling unit. Uh, Abushi, Omega and Paige. Oh, it's going to be delightful. I know oh. a lot of people would like to see sort of what Abushi has to offer in AEW because I think a lot of people were kind of like, not unsatisfied with what he did in the Blood and Guts match, but they were like, he definitely feels a little bit slower in this match. And I think there's opportunity for him to sort of like, will really show what he can do on um, AEW TV. Maybe this is where we showcase it. could it. be. Uh, other AEW All-In matches. So on the pre-show, the zero hour pre-show, we're getting the ROH tag titles defended. Aussie Open putting them up against MJF and Adam Cole, baby. Um, AEW tag titles on the line as well. FTR defending against the Young Bucks. Their third time round. That'll be a good match. Mm -hmm. Sting and Darby Allen versus Swerve and AR Fox in a coffin match. Oh. And bookending Wembley uh, is MJF defending the AEW world title against Adam Cole. So they'll bookend the show. Huge moment for those two. Ooh. I'm very, very happy for them that they get to do this at the, uh, the, biggest, the biggest wrestling event, which is insane. And it's all next Sunday. I did a whole video yesterday, and I think I've done a few before where I kept saying it was Saturday. Yes. Well, I, I, that's easily done now. Missing isn't it? interviews because and getting. I, I've been one for getting days wrong how this is week. Right? I'm getting old. No, you're not. I'm 40 no, next year. Hey, you've got a lot on. You do a lot of stuff. It's allowed, Tom. Going senile. Just put, mate, just, just wheel me out towards the <laughs> towards the window facing <laughs> facing the sunset. No, dab no, the, we can't dab do the toast crumbs from the side of your mouth. <laughs> Just say, we'll go for a walk later. Try to go for a walk. Go for a walk later. Uh, on the podcast <laughs> feed, a uh, brand new podcast called Before and After, uh, which features two, an interview that takes place over two days. 
before uh, a major wrestling event in someone's life and after where we reflect upon oh, it. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, Izzy Moreno is my first guest for nice. that. Nice. She is the Bailey fan kid. Yes, yes, of course, of and, course. And this past weekend, she had her very first wrestling match. I saw some clips on the internet. She looked great in it. You, yeah, you can watch it on Title Match Network. It's a really good match for her first outing. So I interviewed Izzy just mere days before that first match and then we interviewed her just after it. That's well. amazing. Listen to Mr. Sounds good. It's good, it's good day, isn't it? It's good day. Do you want to plug anything? I feel like uh, I've got on. nothing to plug at all. Go and plug in the electronics that make you feel happy today. I don't oh. know. There you go. You can go and do that. <laughs> uh, all <laughs> oh, no! No! <laughs> what have I done? Hey, you do you. You do you. Live your dream. Live your best life. And we'll have more wrestling news throughout the day at cultaholic.com. What am I thinking? Case, case. Love you. Bye.